Hey dental fans, Dr. Rich here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I take an alginate impression of my lower teeth so that I can make a new bleaching tray for myself. So what I'm gonna use, and here's the alginate that I'm gonna use. Uh, the brand I use is called Plastigen. It's a fast set material made by a company called Septodont the powder. Uh, comes with a scoop and a water measure. And then here's the disposable impression tray that I'm gonna use. It's a medium size that fits my mouth. I've used it in the past, so I know it'll work. Okay, so here I have three level scoops of the alginate powder in my rubber mixing bowl. I got my mixing spatula, and I have uh, some water in this plastic cup. I measured it with the water measure. I'm using just under three measures of water. So the ratio is one measure of water to uh, one scoop, and that whole vial is two measures. So I used a full vial and then just a little bit less than half. And the reason I'm using a little bit less uh, is so that the alginate will be a little bit thicker, a little firmer. It'll just make it easier to take the impression without it oozing and all over my mouth. All right, so the first step, you have, have the powder in the bowl, and then you add the water to it. Take the spatula and you start mixing it up just to get the powder mixed up into the water. It's going to almost form kind of like a like a batter if you're somebody, if you're a baker. And once it's all incorporated, then you take it and smush it around the outside edge of the rubber bowl. This is to squeeze out any air bubbles that may have gotten mixed in. And when you got it nice and smooth and creamy, load it up on the spatula and place it in the tray. You don't want to overfill the tray. You want to fill it up just so that the tray is full, but you don't want to go too crazy because if you size your tray properly, that's all you're going to need is what's in the tray. Okay, so there it is. And now let's take the impression. Okay, so the material, once I insert it, it's going to take about a minute and a half uh, to two minutes to set up. So here we go. There we go. Alrighty. So, got the impression. Got all the teeth that I needed to. I didn't floss last night. A little bit of bleeding in a couple spots. Alright, so now that I have this mold, now that I have this impression, I'm going to uh, pour it up, basically uh, add some dental plaster in there, let it set up, and then I will have the uh, plaster model that I'm going to use to make the uh, whitening tray on. All right, well, hope this was informative. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, uh, please leave me a comment down below. But in the meantime, definitely give me a thumbs up uh, if you liked it. And uh, please consider subscribing. I, I would really appreciate it. It helped me out a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.